Today is day 357 of web development. It is also Monday, July 11th, 2022. And um, on day 354, which was two days ago, um, I tried to kind of animate an SVG, which was the line over here, and um, it wasn't successful. I mean, it was successful, but not the way that I wanted it to be. Um, I kind of wanted it to be like um, that it draws itself as I hover over it, and I couldn't figure that out. But I came across this tutorial by Online Tutorials that, um, where they have icons and the icons, which are SVGs, right? And when they hover, not when they hover over it, but I guess when they refresh the page, it becomes, you know, it draws themselves. So they have three icons. They have a heart, a star, and something else I forgot. Um, and they draw themselves when um, the page is refreshed, and which is kind of what I wanted. So I'm going to try to follow their tutorial with one of their icons, and then I'll try to apply the same principles to day 354. So I just have a new code pen here. Um, I'm going to create my own icon. It's going to be a star over here in Figma because um, the website that they use for their icons is not free anymore to download it as an SVG. So um, I'll just create my own here and then export it as an SVG. Export and then I'll call it um, star. What is this for web development? Oh yeah. So I'll just do I want to keep it here? Maybe. I'll just keep it here. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, in order to open it up, I'm going to go here. Well, I'm actually going to go to VS Code to actually get the code. This is it. So I'll put this um, in my Notion, which is linked in the description box below. Um, I'll kind of maybe duplicate this because Maybe today I'll just follow the tutorial and then tomorrow I'll just um, try to apply with the line. We'll see how it goes. A357. Um, let me remove this and just delete all of this and just paste that in here. No. Nope. Right there. And this is HTML. Okay. So. I don't know yet. Don't know yet. Don't know yet. Let me delete all of this real quick. Okay, and today's July 11th. Okay, back to this. So I did copy the code right. So I'm just going to do maybe I should do this. No, never mind. I'll do it here. So doc type HTML. Forgot my exclamation point. Okay. Then HTML and HTML, then my head tags, which I don't really need today, I believe. Body, and then inside the body, I'm going to just paste that SVG there, and it should appear there. Don't you tell me that the ew, the background, hello. I didn't want the background to also appear. Huh. Oh, change. Great. Alright. Um. Oh, here. Oh, that's the rect. I don't want a rectangle though. I just wanted the, um, the path. I don't need this. There we go. Alright. So that's it. Um. Okay, so at this point I have my SVG. I'm going to center it in the middle of my page. So in order to do that, to do that I'm just going to do body, and I'm going to give the body a display of flex, and then do justify content center, which centers it horizontally, and then align item center centers it vertically, and these are both flex properties that I can use, um, only because they set the display equal to flex. And you might be wondering, why is the align items not actually working? It's because um, the body actually doesn't have a height of the full screen. If I give it a border, we'll see that it ends right after the star ends. But if I just change the height to be 100 VH, then it actually goes to the center. Okay. So at this point, I um, kind of want to work with the animation. So let me see. So over here, if I just kind of look at their code, yeah, look at that star. Okay. So, let me see. 
what do they have? So the star, so that's what their star looks like. They gave it a class of icon star, so I'll do the same for mine. Um, for the path, it's a class of icon star. Okay. Icon star, but wait, it's in, it's in its SVG. The path itself doesn't have an icon, so I guess I'll do that. And then close this out. And then remove this. So it's in a box, and the box is called icon star. Okay. Moving on, so I don't I don't believe I have to change my view box because it's just one icon. I do though want to be able to see what they do here. Okay. All right, so I have CSS and I have my icon star and then how? And then that's what's selecting. So, so far what I'm selecting is the icon star path. So this is what I'm selecting. All right, and then the stroke dash array basically just separates the star into um, kind of dashes. And so if I do three or something, it kind of does something. Hold on, dash array, stroke dash array. Well, it wouldn't be working here. Where's my stuff? Okay. 300. Hmm. Is it because it doesn't have a stroke? And instead it has a fill? Oh, it does. There we go. So, if I change this to 3, Oh, let me see. Stroke. I could also give it a stroke width of five. So it becomes bigger. Or maybe we'll do 20 because I can barely see that. Oops, that is really bad. 10? I guess. And then now, yes, I believe I have to change my view box because now it's too small for that view box. And so maybe I'll change this to 300. All right, something like that. Maybe 320. Eh, it's changing the height. 357. Move it to the left, which is a problem. I just need it to be. Never changes. Top. What? Let me do some research. Defines the position and dimension in user space of an SVG viewport. The value of the viewbox attribute is a list of four numbers the minimum x, minimum y, width, and height. The numbers, which are separated by white space and or comma, specify a rectangular in user a rectangle. Wow, sorry, a rectangle in user space, which is mapped to the bounds of the viewport. Okay, so width and height. All right, so this is the width and this is the height. So 
Maybe I need something like 600 and the width to be something like 400. Hmm. I wonder. Is there any way that I can target it? I just don't understand why it's moving. It's the view box, right? So the view box is a property. So maybe I could do SVG view box. I don't believe I can do that. How do I target object target view box CSS? Interesting. Change in the view box crops the CVG. SV, why do I keep saying CVG? SVG, it does not scale it. Stretches the plot to SVG. So it's not also used to show more crunchy and change aspect ratio. Can someone just tell me like how to have a good So the lower it is the better or the bigger mm -mm -mm. This is really bad I just want to be able to give the view box a border so I could actually see it. Um, maybe I could just do the SVG and give it a border. Five pixels black solid. All right, so that kind of works better. So um, if I change this to 600, right, but why in the world? View box. Um, so maybe instead I'll do hmm. like that. But isn't that still popping it out? Yes, it is. So how about I just do maybe 98%, 98%. I work better with percentages. How about 90, 90? Get rid of the SVG. Still doesn't work. That's so odd. How about 80? Literally nothing is changing. 80% of the SVG. The SVG has to have the height of 400% and the width of 100%. There we go. But the SVG is, is, is inside of a div, right? And then... Why though? It's so odd. And then the icon star both side. Hmm. Right, but this is so odd. If I do 100%, and then I do something like 70, how about 50? Come on. Oh, 
I don't even know what to tell you. Hmm. It just doesn't want to move. What was its original stuff? I go back to motion. Its original viewport was um that three three seven two ninety two. Still didn't work out. And the width and the height of it was the following. So maybe it works when the rectangle or the div, I guess, should be that size. So maybe the dot icon should be those values. Three three seven two I'm confused. The star is sharp right here. And over here there is no even the rectangle, you know what? What is going on? Um, hmm. What is up this to 400 and this to 300? No, I'm going to be changing that. You know that he does something similar. But he does it over here at the beginning. What? So maybe it's the minimum and maximum that I have to change. So two. But it's okay, hold on. It is um the X minimum and then the Y minimum. So the X minimum would be Let's do ten. No, negative ten. Oh, there we go. Okay, so negative ten, and then the y minimum. We have negative one. What did it put? It was perfect. There we go, negative 10. And then the y minimum. Negative 10 also. But then. Oh, why does this happen? Okay. Um. But then the width and the height are different. So this is what 340. Four hundred. There we go. Okay, that took. I don't know what the logic is in the in that or what I just did, but it took how many minutes? It took me. Oh, great, twenty minutes to figure that out. So that's great. Um. So I'm assuming the minimum x 
negative ten, that just doesn't make sense to me because well, well that's something I'm gonna have to figure out another day because well, it's a no for me. Alright, moving on. Now that we have that situated. Um where do I go? What was I doing? Okay, I was gonna go to the star, right? And then kind of look up what person did here. For your beginning, all right. So, again, where am I? So, it's stroke dash array array. Unless I do a hundred, hmm. and I do stroke off. Uh, no, stroke dash offset. So it would be the same value. Hmm. Until it disappears, but it's not doing that. Is that because it's. See, I even turned into a stroke. Unless I do fail, but there's not a fail dash away. Hmm. Why can't I just do the path and that's it? Because there's literally only one path. Exactly. That's what I was thinking. Okay, great. So I'm not gonna use the icon star thing that this person used because it just doesn't make I don't know. I really don't know. Um but the path though, I only have one path, um, which is why I can use that. So I'm gonna change um so the stroke dash array without oops. Without this, it's like Flipped. So when I do, so the goal is to get a number in which the star completely disappears, but it won't disappear because as long as I keep increasing, it comes back on the other side. Like it starts to draw itself, like at the bottom. So see, if I do sixty, the bottom will increase, and so that keeps happening. So whatever you take out from the left, it appears at the bottom. And so if I have a stroke dash offset, and I have the same value, then it's just going to end up, you know. Um, kind of making it disappear until it disappears. Does that make sense? So if I do 570, 570, and wait until I get a certain value, so the whole thing disappears. Are you almost there? Beautiful. All right, so let me just see if um, getting it to 200 would disappear. It. Okay, we'll leave it at 1250. So that's the value. Okay. And then after that, what does he do? So he has the path. So when I hover over the path, what happens? Let me see. They have an animation. He or she, I really don't know who they are. So they have an animation. Um, and they call it something like its own, like anime. For me, it's going to be animate star. And it's going to be two seconds linear forward, which I'll have to research what each of these things means. I just know that this is going to be used for keyframe, and this is the duration. And then this, I guess, is the way it's going. I don't even know, but still. Um, okay, and then the decorator keyframes, and then animate star, and then 0%. Those are the keyframes, and then I believe it's 40%. Oops. And then it's 80%. And then it is 100%. Okay. And then I believe it starts the stroke dash array. And it starts off with zero. And then I believe this one is the value. What happened to the star? It's not even there anymore. Um, 1250. Oh, 
obviously, so I could have made it disappear. 12.50. So then let me go back. So then the stroke offset zero. Uh, so that makes so much sense. That makes so much sense because um, this was just used to find this value because without this, I couldn't find this value, but I want this to be set to zero, right? So that it actually appears, right? Only thing is, what in the world is happening with... What? What in the actual world? That's so odd. Is it because of the keyframes? No. So then why is the star at the top literally not in the viewport? Oh, here we go again. So, 3050? What if I literally do 2000 like that? Hmm, so I guess I'll go back to the value that it was. So what was it, 1250? I don't even know at this point. I'm not gonna go crazy about it. Okay. So then back to this. So then, how does this person have it? So it's like that, and then, hmm. Oh, that's so funny. I hover over it, and then the fill also changes. Okay, and it's the same, just times two, and then, okay, so it's fill transparent, so this is the same as this one, except that the fill is transparent, oops, and then over here, it's the same as this one, except that the fill is something like um different color. So I'll do red. Hmm. But see, I don't see that happening. When I hover over the top, this should happen, but it's not. Does it even have? Huh. I don't know. Oh, it's a little sweet double. Okay, um, let's double. But literally nothing happens. So tell me, because I would love to know. I don't even have an iPhone class anymore, do I? No, I do. But it literally does not work. So what the heck am I doing wrong? Two seconds in your full words. I'm gonna put a semicolon there. Hmm. Interesting. 
Okay, so I guess I'll have to follow the way that this person has it. So we have a stat icon dot star and then path. Oh, that's what they want. They want okay. Hold on. And when I hover over that, then this happens to the path. Oh, it's much more fancy. But then let me see. Interesting. So that kind of fixed the thing at the top here. But then for the keyframes now. Why doesn't it work for me? Um, because I gave this a certain background. This dark blue work. And then just need to fill start here to be white. And then or maybe not. Maybe change it to be this color A16EA and then change the fill here to be that same color. This is the same thing as this one, right? Hmm. But it's not working. So why is it not working? My other over it, I want the path. It is in a div, isn't it not? Does it have to be in a container? Do I have to target the body? Oh, okay, let me put this in a container. So div class container and then put this all over here. Okay, and then from here, let me go to my CSS. Oops. And then put this all inside here. Okay. And then I would have to do dot container. And then over here also dot container. Oops. And I don't even think this is. Needed. And when I hover over it, hmm. okay, so let me think what could be going on here that's wrong. Because it's really not working for me. Hmm. What is this thing? So I'm assuming it's a. And I don't even know. Um. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, you can have copyright. <laughs> That's so funny. Copyright. Oh, I think they met. Oh no, I feel so. I'm so confused. Does he mean? Did he mean that he copies like his tutorials, like he uses them, or he copies the videos? Because <laughs> I think that's funny. All right. Um, this would have been good because I need that. I need to debug here because I don't know what's going on. It's so odd. Please like our Facebook page. Um, source code. There we go. Huh. Oh, I don't even know. Zero percent stroke dash offset zero, and then doubling it. Thirty one twenty. Does that make sense? If I do, right? If I have it as twelve fifty, I have it as zero. Right? And I have it as one hundred. It's gonna keep going. That's the issue. I am so confused. Now this isn't working. What? Where in the world is Carmen Sandiego? Anyway, maybe I should take a break because it's literally midnight. Oh my god. What day is it today? Monday? Tuesday. Oh, it's Tuesday. Um, let me see. Let me think. I don't even know, bro. I don't know what am I supposed to be doing right now. Okay, how about I do free SVG art at this point? It's not what I want. Okay. T-shirt. Hello? So where are you? Okay, you're not reading the mic. It's not working though. This is the code that this person has. So someone tell me why it's not working. I don't have to know. So zero and then twelve fifty and then double and then sorry, fill. But then the stroke animate star. Animation name. Is there like an animation property? Animation timing function. Hmm. So, example animation duration for seconds. Let me just try this out. Right. Um. I don't even know. When animation. Let me wait. Hold on. So I have the div as a background color, and then the animation name and animation duration. And then from that animation, let's say keyframes example, and then from to background color red, background color yellow. From and to, interesting. But then that's four seconds. But then if I say 0%, 0%, 0%, 0%, 0%, 0%, 0%, 0%, 0%, 0%, 0%, 0%, 0%, 0%, 0%, 0%, 0%, 0%, 0%, 0%, 0%, 0%, 0%, 0%, 0%, 
Okay, so this is a little bit more of what I should do. So at 0%, let me reload. It should be red. And then 25% yellow. So let me reload. Yellow. And then blue and then green, but it transitions. So it makes it orange. I don't really make orange. Let me see what it is. Oh, it does make orange. Red, yellow, orange, yellow. Then blue, then green, and then back to green. Oh, why doesn't this work? Animation duration. Which is, it's different from transition because then I feel like the name would have been a transition property, but because we can actually specify them here, we don't need that anymore. But um, animation duration, maybe that's what I have to have so it would work. But it literally says two seconds. We'll just do this. Maybe this would work. And then I believe animation. This is a transition timing thingy. Timing. Um, what is it again? Wrong one. It's, um, where is it? Okay, it's timing. No way did I just close it. It was up here. Okay, so animation direction. Okay, let me go back here. So, animate, where's my code? Animation direction. Why do I have two ends? Forward. And then animation timing function. Interesting. Flow direction delay. And animation time. I just don't understand what in the world I'm doing wrong. Not even hovering over. What if I go here, right? And I just change the stroke to be white. It's not even working. Interesting. So it's because it's literally not even. It's literally like not working like at all because this is not targeted. Why? Oh no, I'll have to do... Hmm. The container... What else is there? There's a viewport, there's a SVG. Let me give everything a border. Of the container. Then I have the icon. Right, and then I have the star and the icon are the same thing. Right, alright, and then the path itself is not going to change the border, it's going to be. Um, it would be the stroke, but we change the stroke to be like white, 
and the Hoyer would change to white. Right. So that's the path, and I believe there's also the SVG itself to have a border. That's like the leg that's inside. And then there's also the view port, which is the, the view box. So I'm assuming that it might be behind because if I hover over it, it doesn't it doesn't work, which is an issue. So that must mean it's behind the SVG. So maybe I have to do Z index zero. And then a one. Oh my god. Alright, hold on. The container is going to have a Z. Let's start from the D. Okay, so negative 2. Interesting. Negative 2. And something must be. The icon is negative 1. SVG is 0. And then this should be 1. How about I start with negative one? Oh, maybe it's because of the body. Ah, oh, Jesus. Okay, because the index negative two. This is negative one. And then oh my god, what's going on? This would be zero. One, two. It's still not working. <sighs> That's supposed to be zero. If when I hover over it, it should change the mouse, but it's not. Hmm. And it honestly should be above everything. So odd. Okay, regular. Icon part of the pad. Dot, there is no space. Ah! Uh this is why we have to triple 5,000 time check your code. Because one small mistake, like a literal space, ah, makes me frustrate and think that I'm going crazy for 30 minutes. So this is great. Um, See, it works. Nice. What I wanted. But then, why does it do that? Well, notice that the top doesn't finish. I, you know what? I'm accepting everything that comes my way at this point. Um, so maybe I don't need the Z indexes anymore because I thought that it was just a problem because I couldn't hover over it. And um, it just turned out that I, I just never targeted it. Targeted it? Targeted it properly. All right, let me open this in debug mode. Nice. Although it's not finishing at the top of it. But that's fine. That's fine. We're gonna. I'm gonna accept that. At this point, so I'm gonna get rid of all this. And. And so I don't need that duration anymore. I don't want it to. I want it to be, you know. Fast. Oh, or not. We do need that. I meant the delay. Why is it taking so long? The fill is taking so long. That's what's weird. The fill. How do I control the speed of the fill? Oh, it's 
So maybe I could just increase to five seconds. Seems to be a delay. Weird. Okay. Um. Well, let me cite my source today. Um. Yes. Put that right in there. Embed the video. Put it all the way at the top. Okay. Um. It worked. Do I want to? Mm, no, I'll do that tomorrow. Okay, so I think that's it for today. Tomorrow, I'll apply this with my line that I wanted, right? Um, I just wonder if I can control the speed of it, though. Let me just think. I could do a transition property. But then... Hmm. Either way, whatever. Um, I'll just make this a little nicer looking. I'll change the stroke to be a little bit thinner now that I know what I'm working with. And something like that. All right, I think that looks much better. All right, so I'm going to end it here. Um, let's see, it's day 357. Where's my, like, all right. 357 and then I'll save it. Um right. And then it's the final product. Alright, bye.